What's up, everybody? Honest trailers. That's what's up. They're on. They're celebrating their 400th honest trailer, which is a, a huge mil milestone to be sure. And uh, how they decided to celebrate it by doing an honest trailer for the entire DCEU for all its uh, uh, faults and all of its uh, glory. I, I guess that's one way of putting it. For all of its co pros and cons. Uh, for all of its strengths and weaknesses, and, uh, well, I consider myself a fan of the DCEU, to be honest. So far, there really is only one movie I wasn't too big of a fan of, and that was, uh, Birds of Prey, uh, from, oh, damn it, L last year. Damn it, it feels so long ago that I was sitting in a theater watching that movie, but yeah, other than that, I mean, I... Love Man of Steel. I love that movie. I'm. Oh, I appreciate Batman vs Superman, especially the Ultimate Cut. I'm one of the people that actually enjoyed uh, the original Justice League. The, the new Snyder Cut is okay. I don't think it needs to be as long as it is. But uh, yeah, I'm fine with that. I'm. I'm okay with uh, Suicide Squad. I love uh, the first Wonder Woman movie. I love Aquaman. I love. Love, love, love Shazam. <clears throat> and I know it's kind of blasphemous to say it, but I kind of liked Wonder Woman 1984. So what? Sue me. So yeah, as you can see, I am a fan of the DCU for all of its uh, faults and for all of its, like I said, glory. And I cannot wait for the new Suicide Squad movie by, uh, directed by James Gunn. I can't wait for... Shazam 2, Wrath of the Gods, or something like that, I think. I can't wait for Black Adam, Aquaman 2. I can't wait for all this stuff. But yeah, let's just uh, uh, appreciate what we already have in the form of this honest trailer. And I'm sure they're going to uh, beat the crap out of the entire DCU as a whole. So here we go. This episode is presented by Pagoda Egg Rolls. After Superman lived, died, <laughs> Batman v Superman Asylum got locked away, and J.J. Abrams' Superman flyby crashed down to Earth. J.J. script. That was bomb. Warner Brothers just kind of snapped and said, All right, you know what? F*** it! You want to launch a universe? How's this? Superman doesn't want to save people, Batman's a murderer, Wonder Woman's an incel, and Harley Quinn takes three movies to break up with Joker who looks like my coke dealer. You all happy now, you mother you're all fired! I hate my job! I'm gonna go make Spongebob spin-offs for Paramount Plus! F***! <laughs> oh. The DC Extended Universe. Welcome to the DCEU continuity. That, compared to Marvel's boring but reliable B-student, is a chaotic goth nerd who never lived up to his potential. Cause Warners does crap like change the title after a movie comes out. True. Cancel films they've already announced. Publicly yeah. fight their own stars. Swap directors mid-production. Yep. And release oopsies cuts of their films to win back fans. In the sort of behind the scenes drama you get when the closest thing you have to a fuggy is Donald Trump's treasury secretary. Sheesh, no wonder these guys hated Cyborg. <laughs> Meet your typical DCEU protagonist, either a naive fish out of water, an angst-fueled warrior made of sadness, or a quippy jokester stuck with Joss Whedon's B material. My special skills include uh, viola, uh, web design, fluent in sign language. They're way too powerful to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of tickles. But when they're somehow threatened by an irritating little wimp. Ooh, I love it. True! Mm -hmm. Ow! Wow! <laughs> hunka hunka! An army of faceless goons. Or an angry lump of CGI. <laughs> They'll harness the power of creatine to squeeze into a series of costumes so fetishized they should have their own OnlyFans. Silk-based <laughs> quartz sand fabric. Abrasion resistant. Heat resistant. My brother, I applaud your choices today. It shouldn't work, but hot damn it does! <laughs> Make it through that part of the movie where they lose their powers. I got the wind knocked out of it. Need a few seconds, that's all! <laughs> 
murder someone. You can't leave them like this! And tease some kind of sequel, character, or spin-off that will never get followed up on. Shouldn't we have a league of our own? Oh snap, do you know who that is? That's, that's the next director's problem. <laughs> In a world dominated by Disney's Mickey Mouse Club, <laughs> watch DC's effort to set themselves apart. Where Marvel wonders, what if the gods were just like us? DC answers, they're real, and they want nothing to do with you. I used to want to save the world. I don't want to be king. Yeah, here's the thing, I can't be here. Superman was never real. F the world. Instead of adapting the best storylines of their best comics, they'll let the guys behind Blade Trinity and Rise of Skywalker take their best shot. Oops. And instead of quipping all the time, That is America's ass. <laughs> everyone talks like a 14-year-old trying to sound badass while they skim a wiki page. This is Katana. She's got my back. She can cut all you in half with one sword stroke, just like mowing the lawn. I would advise not getting killed by her. Her sword traps the souls of its victims. You know, if it's a choice between this and the quips, then I choose the Airbud franchise. <laughs> Experience a universe that rests on one amateur bodybuilder's shoulders. Zack Snyder, the inventor of the feature-length movie trailer. Because if trailers have all the coolest shots, then a four-hour-long trailer would be nothing but awesome. I mean, right, bro? Watch as he reinvents DC's biggest icons by taking all the color out, literally and metaphorically, <laughs> and whether or not you're on board with this super nihilism. Cringe while the studio rips control of his films away, undermines the world he created, and ensures that every fan he made will reflexively hate anything they ever do. You know, I'd expect better from the people in charge of Harry Potter and Game of Thrones. Well... Wait, no I wouldn't. Of course they screwed this up. So before the Flash movie resets the timeline, <laughs> or gets canceled again, or the star gets canceled again, enjoy superhero movies for the thoughtful and rage troll inside all of us, where the only thing more dysfunctional than what's happening behind the camera is every DC hero's relationship with their parents. I have to go back. When I was a kid, my dad traded me for a six pack of beer. Didn't think you were ready for them to see the monster. You are not a monster. It's weird that you thought I meant me. Mom. It's me. Um. I had no father. My mother sculpted me from clay and I was brought to life by Zeus. That's neat. Well, that's neat. <laughs> Starring MacGuffin. MacGuffin! Oh, that is Krypton's Future. The Lost Trident of Atlan. The God Killer? He's after the change engine, his mother box. We gotta cut her heart out! A stone started all of this. The rock was lost. It's a rock. Amazing actors given nothing to do. Do you really think More that... or less, yeah. Oh, wow, they just, they really just vanished. That's rude. Dumb voiceover. Some days my childhood feels so very far away. And others, I can almost see it. Jules Verne once wrote, put two ships in the open sea without wind or tide. They will come together. There were perfect things, diamond absolutes. The truest darkness is not the absence of light. It is the conviction that the light will never return. Bad wigs. The one human being keeping these heroes from becoming complete psychopaths. The director of Wonder Woman. Sfew with Warner Brothers. The director of Birds of Prey. Sfew with Warner Brothers. The director of Suicide Squad. Sfew with Warner Brothers. The director of Aquaman. It's pretty chill with Warner Brothers, actually. Yeah. And the director of three DCEU films, Spewed with Warner Brothers. Hmm, I'm sensing a pattern here. You know, they should let Warner Brothers direct the movies. That way, everything can be Space Jam 2. <laughs> Crisis for Infinite Dorks. Crisis for Infinite Dorks. So many of these movies have a scene where the hero is learning to fly but can't quite get off the ground. What a perfect metaphor. Hey, Screen Junkies, in Batman's one-man quest to fight crime, how many horrible crimes does he commit himself? A lot. And does one of them violate the Geneva Convention? 
yes. In a new video, we did the math on Batman's crimes harder than Oracle on tax day. <laughs> Click the thumbnail on the right to watch it now. This episode is presented by Pagoda. Put the egg rolls in. What if I told you that you can like both Marvel and DC? It's not like my comment isn't clever. It's just that other comments are better than mine. <laughs> Say something. I'm giving up on you, DC. <laughs> That's a bit cruel. Well, I mean, it went about as well as I'd expect from an honest trailer about the entire DCEU. Obviously, I mean, there's no denying it. There are a lot of problems with the DCEU, both on camera, behind the camera, just, I'm sorry to say this, it's a mess, but it's, I, I count myself fortunate that I was able to live through this mess, as opposed to, um, you know, learning about it in history books, of how this movie had a troubled production, and this movie had a troubled production, and this movie had a troubled production, I guess that's one positive thing I can say about this whole thing is that it's all happening during my time, during my, you know, 20s, I guess, that this whole mess is, you know, um, contemporary from my point of view. But uh, yeah, obviously historians will, uh, in decades from now, will look at uh, the, uh, the DCU as uh, a sort of a case study, but, you know, I'm happy to have been part of this journey. That they're all on, and the journey is not over yet. We still got plenty more movies to come, but uh, that's really all uh, I can say about this on Australia, and that's about all this on Australia has to say about the DCU. Congratulations to Screen Junkies for their 400th um, on Australia, and I can't wait for 400 more of these. So uh, let me know what you guys think about uh, this on Australia. Let me know what you guys think about the entirety of the DCU as a whole, and I will see you guys. Some other time, there's something worth reacting to. So until then, everybody, DC. Hello again, everybody. I really hope you enjoyed this video, because I really enjoyed making it. So if you like what you've seen here, please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more awesome content like this. So until next time, guys, I'll see you guys next time.